Well, this is my Hardy Fuchsia, which I've been featuring on the channel on a few occasions. And last year, um, I did some pruning uh, around this time, but I didn't show this. Um, we had a really cold night last night, and um, the fuchsia is looking fine. The cold hasn't got to it, and the buds haven't really developed yet. It's not until we reach around April anyway, April heading into May when I start seeing um, lots of foliage. But if you look at this carefully, you can see that there are a number of these branches that have got quite out of hand. So I'm going to just prune it and um, make it a little bit more compact. And I want to really get a bowl effect. And the idea is that shaping it this way will make it more manageable. Now pruning is something that I must admit, like a lot of people, I used to be hesitant about, but it's actually a really important process. Just get round here. I've got the bulk of the shape that I want. And one thing I will mention before I carry on on my own with this in a while is that I want to give a little bit more consideration to airflow. So it's quite congested here in the middle. I'm going to take some of these stems out and particularly the ones that are growing into each other. So I'll carry on with that and show you in a while what it looks like. So I've shaped that quite well but I want to show you this little bit here when I mentioned crossing branches this particular internal branch is pressing against this one. Now this is relatively new growth and this is an older piece of the plant and what I'm going to do is get rid of that and that way it's not going to cause damage and also reduces the overcrowding and once this hardy future is in uh, full growth it, it will fill out quite well anyway right so the pruning is done and you can see that we've managed to shape this into a, a goblet form and um, it should make the plant a little bit more compact and look a little bit more presentable so that's pruning of hardy futures hope you find that useful and uh, please hit the like and subscribe button See you later.